the thing about it, me and Adidas, it's like, I could literally say anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? Turns out that's not exactly true. Adidas released this statement today. Ye's recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous, and they violate the company's values of diversity and inclusion, mutual respect, and fairness. After a thorough review, the company has taken the decision to terminate the partnership with Ye immediately, end production of Yeezy-branded products, and stop all payments to Ye and his companies. So it turns out Adidas can drop you, Ye. Now what? Now, this brand deal was so integral to Ye's wealth that as a result of Adidas dropping this brand deal with him, he is losing his status as a billionaire, as Forbes reports. Now, they go on to explain, without Adidas, Ye is worth $400 million. The remainder of Ye's fortune, Forbes estimates, comes from real estate, cash, his music catalog, and a 5% stake in ex-wife Kim Kardashian shapewear firm, Skims. Losing Adidas was the final nail in Ye's net worth coffin. Gap terminated its Yeezy partnership in September, Earlier this month, JP Morgan reportedly unbanked Ye. French fashion house Balenciaga nixed their relationship with Ye on October 21st, just weeks after he walked their runway at Paris Fashion Week. And just yesterday, production company MRC said it would not air a completed documentary on Ye, and talent agency CAA, where Ye was signed, dumped him. So in other words, he is in the finding out phase after fucking around. Now, some people will call this cancel culture. I call it consequences, because even if we all have freedom of speech, none of us have freedom from consequences. And it turns out there is a limit to where these companies just don't want to associate with someone because they are bad for business. And being overtly anti-Semitic apparently is bad for business. Who would have thought that? Now, it's not just that Kanye West as an individual is making these statements and they happen in a vacuum. That's not actually the case. This isn't just any ordinary individual. He has a lot of power and influence. He has access to a lot of big platforms. So when he says things like this that are incredibly bigoted, it has consequences. What he says ripples through society. For example, over the weekend, over the 405 in Los Angeles, Nazis hung these banners showing support for Kanye West, telling drivers to honk if they think that Kanye West is right about the Jews. And as you can see, they're all doing their little Nazi salutes. So what Kanye West did, quite literally, was embolden Nazis. In the same way that Trump emboldened bigots in this country, Kanye West emboldened Nazis and anti-Semites. So what this does is it sends a message to all of the bigots everywhere that their bigotry is still not welcome in society. Even if Kanye West for a moment made it seem as if it was socially permissible to come out of the closet as an overt anti-Semite, turns out, no, you can't really do that unless you want to be ostracized from society. And it's good that to some degree, bigots are still outcasted from society. We need to make bigots social pariahs. We need to make them afraid to espouse their dangerous, bigoted rhetoric because in a polite, civilized society, there should be no room for this bigotry. And if you are going to say bigoted things like this, throw an entire group of people under the bus, then there are going to be consequences for it. Again, you have freedom of speech, but not freedom from consequences. So I think that this is a good move and it's an obvious move because, you know, as much as Kanye West said with the light, White Lives Matter shirt and the support for Donald Trump, these brands still didn't drop him. So this kind of shows that like, you can go pretty far. You can push it pretty far until they finally draw the line. And thankfully, these businesses are drawing the line at overt anti-Semitism. Because if you don't draw the line here, then there is no line. You could just say whatever. You could just say straight up Nazi shit and still be accepted in society, still have business deals. And that's just not permissible. So we need to make it not profitable for people to be bigots because we need to disincentivize this sort of rhetoric and behavior. Now, Candace Owens chimed in and predictably, you're going to be surprised by this. I know she is defending Kanye West. 
She wrote this via Twitter. As a company, Adidas has every right to sever ties with whomever. That said, they better pay Ye. We are not going to witness Ye's intellectual property be stolen and his life bankrupted while being told black people need to shut up about it or suffer the same consequence. Too many black celebrities in my inbox telling me that they believe what is happening to Ye is wrong, but they are scared to speak out because executives are telling them to stay out of it. Livelihoods are being threatened right now over association. This is wrong. Corporate messaging over over the last four years has been that every black feeling is valid because black lives matter, even though that resulted in our neighborhoods being destroyed. Now, those same corporations are telling black talent to shut up or lose everything they have. Okay, first of all, I just don't believe you. You don't know that many celebrities, most celebrities and most people in general think that you're a joke. The one celebrity that you know is Kanye West. We all know that because we've seen photographic evidence that you are indeed close with him. You even convinced him to buy your husband's failing company, Parler. But the only other celebrities that I'm assuming she knows is like the actor who played Hercules, I don't remember his name, and the guy who created the Dilbert comics. But you don't know all of these celebrities, Candace. Stop pretending, you don't have that much clout. She's making it seem as if all of these celebrities in droves are reaching out to her specifically because they want her to console them about how distraught they are, that Kanye West was predictably canceled after saying these horribly anti-Semitic things. Shut up. She's trying to pretend as if there's this huge conspiracy. If they want to say that Kanye shouldn't have been fired by Adidas or let go, they can say that. Nobody believes that there's going to be any real consequences. But to me, it's just, it's astonishing that the people who repeatedly shill for capitalism don't understand how capitalism actually functions. These corporations don't actually care about any social cause. Shocker, right? All that they do is make decisions that are good for business. And so, turns out that supporting a movement that is against the extrajudicial murder of black Americans by police officers, turns out that's more popular than a celebrity who's saying disgustingly anti-Semitic things. Of course, they're going to promote a social cause that is popular and move away from somebody who's saying disgusting things like this. How is this surprising to anyone? I'm just surprised that this didn't happen sooner and they didn't sever ties with Kanye West after the White Lives Matter thing and the Trump support and whatnot. So, I mean, they give these celebrities a lot of leeway to say basically what they want to say. It's not like they're intentionally conspiring to limit the free speech of people like Kanye West. It's that he went so far past the line that nobody wants to be associated with him because Kanye West now is inextricably linked to anti-Semitism. So if you're associated with Kanye West, then you are associated with anti-Semitism, right? So why would you do business with somebody who hates Jewish people? He very clearly does not like Jewish people, right? So if you are a Jewish person, why would you buy Adidas when this brand associates with somebody who doesn't like them for who they are? I mean, it's a business decision, Candace. It's as simple as that. The fact that you, a capitalist, don't know this is pretty fucking embarrassing. But I mean, it's Candace Owen. So she's either lying or completely misled or misleading her audience. So everything that she says should be taken with less than a grain of salt because this person is disingenuous. This person is a grifter. But at the end of the day, I, for one, think that it is absolutely fantastic that Kanye West was canceled because I'm sorry. As I stated earlier, there should be no room for bigotry in modern society. So if you are going to say disgusting, reprehensible things about an entire group of people, then yeah, I'm glad that it's not profitable for these businesses to associate with you. As much as I hate capitalism, at least we're at this state where businesses will lose money. They will lose profits if they associate with explicit bigots. Now, they give a lot of people passes, right? J.K. Rowling hasn't been canceled despite her overt transphobia. There are other folks who say terrible things and they haven't lost anything. I mean, Dave Chappelle is explicitly transphobic and after said transphobia, he got more specials from Netflix. So they allow these celebrities a lot of leeway, but apparently there is still a line and Kanye West just managed to be the one celebrity that found that line. Does this mean that he's like permanently canceled? No, I don't think so. I think he's going to be fine. His net worth still is $400 million. He's no longer a billionaire, boo-hoo, but he has $400 million. He's going to be okay. All right. So I'm not going to shed any tears for Kanye West. In fact, I am glad that he is facing consequences for his actions, because, again, I want the message to be that we don't welcome Nazis and anti-Semites in this society. I want the message to be that if you come out of the closet as a bigot, 
well, people aren't going to want to associate with you. We need to create that disincentive so people choose to not be bigots. Now, how we dissuade people from being bigots, I mean, you could use the stick or the carrot approach. Either way, as a society, we need to be pushing back against that and disincentivizing it. And however we do it, to me, as long as it's, as it's getting done, I don't give a shit. So, good. I'm glad he was fired. I hope that if there's any other connections that he has, business-wise, I hope that they drop him too. Fuck Kanye West. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.